So what we're going to do today is learn a new technique that we can use in Photoshop for our album cover design. So what we have here um, is we are going to create what we call an abstract expressionistic painting um, using the process of clipping masks. So this is a little tutorial that I'm going to have you follow and um, complete using any photo that you want. So we're going to learn how we can apply some of these cool paint layers to a portrait and give it this awesome abstract expressionistic uh, feel, right, where we have this textured paint and this awesome color. All right, so today you'll finish this and you'll turn in your project just for those formative points to learn those skills. And then this is something that you might want to use on your album cover next week when we when we get going on those. All right, so first things first, I'm going to find a photo. Um, you can go to Pexels, you can go to anything that you, you know, you can find something off your phone, which would be really cool if you, you know, found a photo of your dog or something that might work, right? Just got to make sure it's good lighting. So I just typed in and looked for someone with headphones. Um, you know, I, I found this guy for one of my examples. Maybe we'll try this one here. Um, so I'll click free download. Again, you can use any photo you want, whatever it may be. I'm going to drag this right into Photoshop. Okay. So I have my photo here, and the first thing that I'm going to do is remove him from the background so that I only have him alone, right? You could try doing this with the background if you wanted to see if it looks cool, um, but for mine, I'm going to remove him. So again, to remove something from the background, I'm going to go to my Tools menu on the left, and there's my Move tool, Marquee tool. I want my Quick Selection. Then I'm going to go up to the top here where it says Select Subject. Click that. I'm going to make sure that I get a good selection. It looks like it's cutting some of him off there. Um, this looks pretty good around his face and around the sides. I just need to add to the selection up top. So I'm just clicking and just making sure I get everything in that selection. Perfect. That looks good. I got a little spot here. Great. Face is good, all that. So now what I'm going to do is get him removed from the background. So I'm going to go to Command. C to copy what's inside the dancing ants and then I'm gonna hit command V to remove him from the background so as you can see as I toggle off the vision here you can see that that is removed okay I'm gonna delete the background layer by just clicking on it and hitting delete all right now we're ready to get started so first thing in this process is preparing this photo for its effect we're gonna first convert this to black and white. So with my layer selected, I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go to Black and White. Okay, and get this little menu, click OK. Now this is where it's imperative. We want equal parts of black, equal parts of gray, and equal parts of white in our photo so we can adjust the levels like we learned in some of those earlier assignments. So I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And this is the top bar graph is my blacks and my whites. So I can, you know, increase my blacks. That's too much black, right? I can increase my grays, increase my whites. I think the whites are good. I think I want a little bit more gray and a little bit more black. So that looks pretty good there. Let me go a little bit darker. Cool. Mm, we'll see. So now we're going to posterize this. Um, actually, first, we're going to learn how we can add an oil paint effect to make things look a little smoother. So first thing we're going to do is go to the filter at the top of our screen and scroll down to the word stylize. One of the things that we can do in Photoshop is apply some stylization to our images. Um, and one of those things is oil painting. So if I click stylize and I go to oil paint, you're going to see a little preview here, and I'll zoom out so you can see what that kind of looks like. So what this does is it's taking the pixels and making them look like they're painted with oil. So I want to make sure that lighting is checked off. And I want to make sure that, you know, you can play around with some of this and get some of the smoother. I'd say anywhere between 4 and 8 on these is pretty good. Don't need it too crazy. It's just going to smooth some of our lines. So then I'm going to click OK. Remember, you're not going to see much close up with this because of how 
um, minuscule it is. But if you look at my little preview here, you can see how it's, look at his beard, how it's changing that, giving that that oil paint look. So I'll click OK. Now I'm going to go up to Image, and we're going to posterize this. Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go to Posterize. And right now I have four levels, and that's what we want. We want four levels of gray. So this is taking this and making one level of black, one level of gray, one level of light gray, and one level of white. So now what we're going to do is click OK. And I'm going to actually separate each layer of gray. So we're going to start with the black, and we're going to use our color range. So I'm going to go up to Select. I'm going to choose Color Range. And I'm going to click in the black here. So anywhere on my actual photo, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to go in the black and the headphone here and click that. So that's got all the black in the picture. I'm going to click OK. And right now I have the black selected. And I want to actually get that separated. So I'm going to go up to Layer, New, Layer via Copy. And there we go. Now I'm going to rename this layer. And that's one of the new things that we can learn in Photoshop is that we can title layers so that we know what they are. So I'm going to hover my mouse over layer 2 in the Layers menu, double click. And I'm going to title this Black or Dark. Let's go Dark. Perfect. I'm going to click Layer 1 again. And now I'm going to select the next gray. So I'm going to go up to Select, Color Range, and I'm going to choose this gray darker gray here. I'm going to click OK. I need to separate it, so I'm going to go Select, or my apologies, Layer, New, Layer via Copy, and it makes a new layer. I'm going to title this one, again, double click on the word Layer 2, and I'm going to title this one Medium. I'm going to click Layer 1, now I'm going to select that lighter gray color. I'm going to go to Select, Color Range, click on this light gray. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go Layer, New, Layer via Copy. So it makes a new layer there. So in my Layers menu, again, I'm going to double click on Layer 2, the words, and title this Light. I'm going to click Layer 1, and now we'll select the white. I'll go to Select, Color Range, and I'm going to click the white and click OK. Then I'm going to separate that. I'm going to go to Layer, New, Layer via Copy, and boom. I'll title this one White. There we go. So now I have all of these layers, if we look, separated from black to gray, right? That's the gray layer to light and white. Perfect. So now what I have done is I have actually created a folder for you that's on Canvas, and I'll put it in there for you. Um, I have it here. It's an expressive paint folder. So these are some photos of expressive paint from dark. So I have four different darks. I have four different mediums. And I have four different lights and four different whites. So each of these will use and clip to the coordinating layer, right? So let's start with dark. So I have this one for dark that looks pretty cool. Um, I'll go with that green one. So I'm going to drag the dark right on top of my photo. And I'm going to make it big so that it fulfills the area of my portrait here. We can move it around, and I'll show you that in a second. Perfect. Now, it looks weird. I'm going to put this layer, dark one, on top of dark. And here's the cool thing. Here's what we call a clipping mask. A clipping mask will take a photo and clip it to the shape below it if it's a solid color. So I'm going to right click on dark one and scroll down to create clipping mask. And look, it's actually clipped the painting inside the black layer. So it looks kind of weird here, but if you look, there's a little arrow in our Layers menu. See that little arrow? That means that it's clipped to the layer below it. <clears throat> so let's do this with some of the other ones. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, my Expressive Paint folder. 
I'm going to choose a medium one now. Ooh, this one's green. This matches. So drag the green one on. Make it as big so it fulfills the entirety of my photo. I'm going to drag it on top of medium. And I'm going to clip it. So right click, create clipping mask. And there we go. Now what's cool about this is if I get my move tool and I make sure that my paint layer is selected, I can move this and I can see, okay, how much better does it look like if it's there? Kind of like that. That looks pretty good there. So now let's do the light one. I like that. That looks pretty cool. Try that. Ah, zoom in, zoom out. Just made it a little too big. There we go. Zoom back in. Perfect. So now I'm going to hit return. I'll drag this below on top of my light layer there. And now remember, I need to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create clipping mask. There we go. And then lastly, we have the white. So now I'll go to my expressive paint layer. And I have some different textured whites here. A little hard to see with this screen. I like that blue one. Drag that there. Make this as big as my photo. Perfect. And I'm going to drag white above the white layer. Right click and create clipping mask. And there we go. Now I don't like that dark one. I'm going to change that. I'm going to get rid of the dark. The black looks pretty cool. You could even leave the black if you wanted. You know, again, it's all creative choice here to give it the best feel. I'll try this purple one. This looks pretty cool. Create clipping mask. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. And now we can choose a background with one of these expressive paintings. So something light, preferably I might go with one of these whites. Ah, there we go. Let's try dragging that back in. That was a little large. Perfect. Like this so it fulfills the size of the page. Hit return. And then I'm going to drag this below to the bottom. And there we go. Now I have my expressive portrait that looks like it was basically done using oil paint and that kind of abstract expressionism that we see with our example here. All right. So that's the technique for today is learning how we can create an awesome effect using black and white, posterization, color range, different layers that we add in and creating a clipping mask so that it fulfills that space. All right. So what you would do now is just simply file, export, export as, export this as a JPEG, and then submit that to the Canvas formative. All righty. Enjoy this tutorial and good luck.